How you doing, y'all? Welcome to Nappy and Cheat. Hello. On today's episode, we got to honestly. I feel like the lightning round is going to be excellent. We've Fire, got, flame. Yes, we've it's got some be good lightning questions. You know, jerking off, looking at some girl's phone. Um, we got another question, and it's about you know how to ask a girl if she's clean. Oh yeah. There's a lot of weird topics in the lightning round. But before we get there, you know, I had an, I had another incident. I'm going to put what it this it, way. What is an incident? It's mean? a it's a protein eating incident. And oh, you I, eat protein. Yeah. Oh, well, bro, that's I have pretty protein normal. right here. Oh, don't well, don't advertise. Oh, don't sorry. Advertise. I'm not. I was going to say this shit is fire flame. Okay. All right. Well, hold on to that protein because we've got some other protein. Um, uh-huh. And then yeah, I don't know. We got some other weird shit on here. Maybe some childhood stuff. Maybe deodorant. If we get there, um, definitely going to talk about horniness. So let's get cracking. Do you like beef jerky? I had it on the plane last night. I ordered it on the plane. Ordered beef jerky on a plane. On a plane. And not only that, too, it's funny. So, okay, (laughs) this is going to sound really weird because I actually never really ordered this stuff before on a plane. But I was on a United flight, and in the menu, I got a a cheeseburger. (laughs) <laughs> they had a cheeseburger yeah. on the plane? That's why I was like, this is the weirdest shit already. Like, I was already, like, confused. Was but it I, a cold cheeseburger? No, it was warm. It honestly, yo, okay, I, I've i always wanted to make a TikTok about this, but it was in one of those, like, Chick-fil-A type, um, you know how Chick-fil-A gives you those packages, foil, yeah, the, the foil yeah, yeah, to yeah, go yeah. bags? It came in that and it was hot. And let me tell you something, that burger was fire. Like, I enjoyed it. I was eating. I I'm not even joking. I I finished it within two. Well, seconds. it was Fourth of July, so you, you think that had anything to do with the taste of the burger? Well, you they know, have that on every flight on every day. I ate a burger yesterday as well. I made myself a burger because it was Fourth of July. I didn't even think about that. I'm so festive. Yes, you were. Right? You were very festive for, for doing that. Right, and because that's the thing too. It's like I was on a flight for Fourth of July. Very festive. Yes. Right? Isn't that very? very that's very American of you. Yeah. You were on American. My co- okay, let me ask you a question, and this might this might be weird. Uh, wait, actually, let me look at this picture. So, my my cousin, I went to a Fourth of July family party prior to getting on the flight, but but my cousin was wearing this hat, and if you knew him, you would say, "I understand." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But his hat said, "Please be patient. I have autism." Oh, <laughs> he doesn't actually have autism. But his could, behavior could come across as autistic. Exactly. Exactly. So, is so that maybe a, is he that does. Illegal? Maybe he does have autism. No, I don't. I'm not even joking. Yo, maybe, <laughs> maybe he does. Like, I'm. I'm not joking. If you meet him, you're like, okay, autistic. It makes sense, right? You're like Asperger's. Where, where the hundred <laughs> percent. This man has he's, social problems. He, he's a freak. He said he wants to come to the podcast. So oh. maybe one day we can get him on here. And then I could. I could diagnose him. Oh, you could. And I, I'm telling you, you're going to get somewhere close. He's going to be... He's, on, he might he, be on the spectrum he, a little bit. I mean, the spectrum is large. That's what I'm saying. It's very big. So he probably is. But, I, you know, are you allowed to rep things like that if, if it isn't you? You know, I had this question because, like, I was going to rep something about, like, for the podcast, the last podcast, because there's pride, I was going to rep something about, like, being gay. Oh. And then I, I was like, that. I feel like that could be offensive. It's very offensive. If you're not gay. Right. Well, it's also like my tattoos, because everybody always asks me if I'm fucking um, from the islands. I don't. Like is that tribal. island? Is that island? It's Islanders. Is man. that it's, island vibe? It's, um, it's Polynesian. No. And people always ask me, "Are yo yo you Polly?" I was like, "No, I'm white. I appropriate no, other people's cultures." I am Polly. I am Polly. Polyamorous. Joke. Polyamorous. You ruined my joke. You what? You're white. You appropriate it, cultures. Yeah, it was funny. That's how how's that? That's just because I'm white. That's that's not, what we do. That's not a joke. You're you're making <laughs> you're making a statement, a fact. Oh right, that's what I said. That's what I told him. Some guy asked me about it. You know, you should say I'm American. I appropriate cultures because America right. is an appropriation. But is it wrong? If it, that's what I'm saying. Is it wrong to rep it if you fuck with it? No, I fuck with appropriation. That's I think that the best things in life come out of appropriation. So you're saying steal. I think that okay, it's it's not only stealing, it's also changing. They don't steal mm. and not change it in some aspect. Like for example, American Chinese food, amazing fucking cuisine, oh, but that shit isn't eat like General Sal's chicken is not oh. they don't eat that shit in China. 
I thought General Sal was over there whipping up some no, chicken. No, no, that shit is an American. <laughs> or for for example, um, even the what's it called? Fortune cookie. That's American as fuck. They don't have any fortunes. No, over there? I'm sure they have fortune tellers. They got some and other shit, shit. but That's they don't have real. fortune cookies. What about the Chinese finger trap? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think is that, that Chinese. I think that is Chinese. So that, that's real. That's real Chinese. That's how they really. That's take real in appropriation. But the one that I get upset about the most usually is the dreads thing because like oh. people will come in and be like, "Oh, because you're white, you can't wear, you can't have dreads. You're appropriating culture. You're appropriating black people." But thing? like, if you want to talk about appropriation in general, Indians were the first. Here we go to to, <laughs> to actually have dreads. Here we go. It's a Hindu thing. They they believe that the um in your hair there's energy and they believe that the dreads oh. keeps that energy in so you so want to talk about appropriate i'm gonna say yo that shit is appropriating my culture if you have dreads mm. you know what the i truth mean comes out you it's know it's really indian it's really indian bro but I'm, nobody i'm gonna keep it 100 i've never seen an indian person with dreads that's because you haven't been to india not recently no yeah because the the people that have dreads are usually like the the monk type of people you know because they're like the holy ones or whatever and they need that fucking energy <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's in the hair. Yeah, it's but in I thought the hair. monks were uh, bald. Not an Indian. Not Hindu. Oh, they're different. They're they're Hindu. They. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on some shit though. I I went. Um, I was telling my aunt. I was like, I want to be a a guru, one a day. A guru. Yeah, I want to be a guru. I mean, one day. I I I consider myself a guru in a few things. No, 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 no. But I, you're talking, talking about, about like a, a real Indian guru. Does what does that mean though? What's the difference? Because you're in. You have to be Indian. Oh, that's it. That's the only requirement. And you have to be a guru. Well, that's what I'm saying. I could be a guru. No, no, and not you be can't Indian. be a real guru. But if I'm like, oh, I'm a. You have uh, to. Uh, what if I'm a dating guru? No, Did I say that? Yeah, I guess you could say that. That's a cr appropriating my culture. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? I'm fucking white. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you this mean? This is what you do. This is what I do. That's what I'm saying. I take other people's shit. Fuck. Maybe it's I don't like easy. appropriation anymore. No, you're not. See, it sucks. You're taking it? my shit. It has no. Well, now you know how it feels. I I feel it. I do feel they, it. If we all what? It, okay. The problem that I'm having is is like, what did white people create? Um, they created. Like, the, what did we create from scratch? Spaghetti. The First Amendment. First Amendment. They can't take the well, freedom of speech. So <laughs> that's pretty good. So, that's pretty solid. Can we go to a minority and say, "Hey, you're appropriating my culture. Shut the fuck up." <laughs> 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 that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up, but Wait, true. Okay, time out. <laughs> that's gonna sound weird as shit. White people didn't invent freedom, right? It, it, not it, freedom of speech. Yes, the idea okay. is the idea of freedom of speech was invented by uh, a, a white person. Is it okay, but is it supposed to be inherent in all humans? I feel like that's the only problem: is that freedom and freedom of speech should be inherent. But it just wasn't, though. That's what I'm saying. So it was just like, was it was, was it Thomas Jefferson? So it must have not been inherent if if it wasn't like that. That's you're, you're right about that. Like there were so many governments that like you could die for saying some shit. You know what I mean? If yeah. you ever talk bad about a king, that motherfucker could kill you. That's true. Was it always like that though? You know what I mean? Back in the day, I, I like like Homo sapien type shit. You're right though, because think about it, when we were cavemen. Do you think that they were? They, they, they were, were like, probably talking shit. Yeah, but but also though, if you were the the thing about freedom of speech is just the the fact that you're not going to, I guess, have government like any go, the government can't shut you up. People mm. can shut you up just by saying like yeah, shut the fuck up. up. Yeah, they can say no. And I don't guess say that. I guess in the times of like Homo sapiens, I'm sur sure there was some type of governmental structure, some quasi go governmental structure, but. I always just imagine it was like a lion tribe, like a bunch of them. That's what I'm saying. So you I'm sure I mean? that if you did say something bad or say something about the leader, the leader would shut mm. you up. So it would be kind of like not freedom of speech because gotcha. you couldn't. But still, in today's world, there's not real freedom of speech. I got a better question. What? Okay. Like, uh, well, I don't know how humans started. Did we start in one spot? Uh, or were we everywhere? Well, they, they don't know. They don't know. That's an interesting theory because but, but there are different types of like it's not only Homo sapiens. I mean, you know ne Neanderthals, and then there's also no. like, I mean, now I do, but yeah, it's like cavemen. there's also like the, there was this one creatures. I think that the 
I, I don't know why you call them creatures. They, they're, they're human us. human types. I don't know if they are us because we came, I think, from Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. But there was this other human like thing that from fucking in Asia. Oh, that they were like small little fucking people. Gotcha. They're these, the tiny dicks. Th- yeah, tiny. That's dicks, what happened with Asia. Tiny dicks, small people. Yeah. Well, well, because the question I was going to have is, is like. Do you think that like all skin tones were around back in the day, or was it like I think it was probably, everybody's? I, I, just I don't like, think white was really around as as probably significant from the beginning. I think that it was probably a darker skin. Think about it. if we're oh, coming so you think from it was, gr- it, we started like majority black, and we've now switched to. Are we wait? Is there majority white people in the world, or is it majority Asian? Probably Asian, easily, Asian, right? Because China and India. And well, let me ask you this. Are, are are Asian people considered white? No, they're Asian. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm confused. What does that right, mean? There's no what, there's, the how reason, do you okay. how are you confused on that? No. Are Asian people considered white? They're Asian. Okay, but the the thing is, is they're pale as shit. Yeah, but they're white. But yo, it's crazy because for Asians, they didn't go for a color; they just went for a fucking different name. They were like, yo, "That's what I'm saying. We're just gonna call this." Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think someone stood there. Like, Let's be Asian. <laughs> they're like, they're like, they're like, yo, yo, no more colors, no that's more a, colors. That you know, isn't that weird though, right? Because we have like white people and black people, but like everybody else in between, you don't call them brown. I mean, yeah, you could. I guess no, though they do call people like uh, nowadays it's people of color, but they do call like like Mexican brown. That's true. But as I'm saying, it's like in Asian shit, like first off, like even in India, they have dark ass motherfuckers yeah, yeah, and they yeah, also yeah. have people that are fucking light, light skinned. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I never understood that. I'm like, bro, it doesn't make sense. You can't do it all by color because well, if it was all by color. But that's why it's not by color all. It's only white and black that's by color. But what makes me white? I'm Italian then. I don't want to be white. I'm olive, to be honest. Yo, somebody, what did I say? Uh, oh, fuck. I was talking to somebody who's very, very social justice and they were telling me <laughs> that I'm white. They're, social they're, justice They're saying that I like I have white privilege because I'm white presenting. I'm a yes. N- white you present, present white. I present fucking white. That's what I'm saying. I'm about. like, fuck off, bro. <laughs> Give me my, I have no privilege. You Well, right, because you're trying to rep the Indian gang. I'm trying to you're rep. You're trying it. to rep. Uh, you we should tell people you're brown. Well, in. I, yo, it's yeah, I would I can you could I, technically, I, but but also at the same time, like if we're really talking about privilege, Indian Americans are the most privileged with the highest um, income household income in the United States out of are any. Are you trying other to race. help your minority case or or hurt it? I mean, yo, like, which one are you going I, for? I'm just trying to show how fucking we work around it. Oh, the yo, yeah, the Indians, the right? Indians, yeah, they're taking over. They take it over, bro. Yo. With that small. What percentage of people <laughs> that are Indian? Yo, I fuck used it. to. I actually, I worked with a lot of Indian people. I, I fuck with Indian people. Heavily. Yeah, you fuck with know, me. Maybe that, <laughs> so that's where I was gonna go, but because you said it, I'm like, nah, I don't, no, no. I don't, I don't like it. Well, okay, time out. There is, there is a question. Somebody, we didn't, we're not gonna get into it in the lightning round again. There was a ton of good questions yeah. in the light, for the lightning round today, but one of them was talking about like, how do you handle horniness when you're like single? And you don't really want to just hook up with people. Like, how do you handle your horniness? Bro, there's this new bio uh, biomechanical invention out. It's it's actually something I recently discovered. It's called a hand. <laughs> it I works pretty thought, well. I thought you were gonna go pocket <laughs> pussy. I did you did you call a hand biomechanical? It's bio. Is, is, it's not biomechanical. What what is biomechanical? Wha- biomechanical to me sounds like I you know what it sounds like. You <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you invented. But why something. can't why can't a hand be biomechanical? Because it's not mechanical. It is mechanical to some extent. It, I don't I don't think I consider that biomechanical. Biomechanical I, I would know consider what you, like more somebody like invented a, a, a an arm a, a me- mechanical hand. Yes, like a prosthetic. Correct. Yes. So but, you're right. Maybe there is something like that you could use f- to supplement your yes. horniness. Or for a girl, she has lots of dildos. Yeah, that's biomechanical. That uh, I have. The oh, worst, that is biomechanical. It is. I literally have the worst vibrator known to man. Like I'm not joking you. I, okay, so Hustler sent me a little care package, yes, right? And yes. I and I got to pick the vibrator that I wanted. I think I brought it on the the show once. Back I think in the you day. talked about how you put it in. 
the girl's vagina and she didn't like it or some shit. No, I, well, I didn't put it in there. Or oh yeah, it's the finger. It's the fucking finger thing, and it looks like a jumbo like. It's like number one fan sign. Number one. <laughs> you put your whole finger in it. It's stupid. I thought it was gonna be like something cool where I was like, I thought a finger uh, a finger vibrator to me, or at least a good one, would have been like one that's like thin, and then it just like vibrates on the end, and it's like really like. You know what I mean? Like, just, yeah, like, yeah, small. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that I don't have to, like, fucking or, DJ in or there. Or one that's just, like, the size of your finger that makes your finger move. That's what that I'm talking about. That forces your finger to move like this. I don't know how that's going to work. Okay. It's just so I, powerful. The biomechanical things you have going on today. Are- well, all I'm saying is masturbation is a good way to solve your issue. But it's depressing. <laughs> I, yo, d- yo, I, I, I don't know why. I'm not joking. I jerked off yesterday. And okay, first off, I'm converting back to porn. I'm converting back to porn. Convert back. And the reason I'm converting back to porn is because I realized that what I was doing was unhealthy. Masturbating to girls. Masturbating to pictures of and girls. things like that, right? Of girls and like you know, well, I get the occasional like Snapchat sex thing still, which is still fun and flavorful yeah, yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But like that's the thing. It's like I I do have a, like a nice like selection of of home news yeah. if i really wanted but like i i feel like it's making it worse like Bro, i feel like it makes it worse I because a, like at, when i watch porn i at least it feels like it's two people uh, yeah yeah exactly it's like two people i didn't i don't really know and i have no connection to bro i have a huge problem actually i think with like sexualizing anything nowadays bro i wish i like, could put on goggles in this world and be blinded to all of the sex like sexy girls and like oh. porn and shit like that i think it fucks with people's brain i think it fucks with the relationships i 100%. think like i i think it's hard for guys to like feel satisfied in a relationship probably because they see all these girls all the time oh good fucking point and, and honestly, no, I, I legitimately was thinking the same exact thing in the sense of, like, I, I go on my Instagram, and I fucking hate it. Yeah. I fu- I'm i telling you, I turn on the app, and I shit you not, it's fucking fat ass, fat ass, fat ass, fat That's ass. so hard. Titties, titties, titties. I don't follow that shit, bro. And, but you don't have to because, bro, this all the suggested posts are that because the problem is. You're searching that. Fuck it. No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> It's it's because our eyeballs are gonna stay on that picture yes, longer yes. than than probably some other shit. Yes, you know yes, what I mean? Yes. Let's be honest. You're scrolling through and you see a fucking giant caboose. What are you gonna do? I don't know. What do you do? If I see a giant caboose, <laughs> I would be a like, bus. yeah, a giant caboose, I, dude. If I see a giant caboose, I'm not into fucking big asses, bro. But what if that's it's shit nice? Is... I don't. I'm not talking about like you a said BDL. giant. But I'm talking about a giant caboose that's I, fucking, that's like nicely toned. I, oh, hey, I go to the gym and I fucking eat healthy 80% not, of the time. It's not for me, bro. A nice caboose? Not for me. You're I, not into it. I like, you don't like that's ass. actually, I like a small ass. I can't deal with this. I really ass. like small ass. Miss me with that fucking pancake shit. Not <laughs> pancake. It has to have oh. a bump a little bit. Like that muffin top ass. I don't know what a muffin top is. I made it up right now, but that's what I think about the shape of a muffin top. Muffin tops are good. I fuck with muffin tops. That's what I'm saying. You fuck with a muffin top. But that's what I'm saying. If it just even a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If you got a little bit of a hill. Yes, yes. Then you're okay. That's but I don't like something where you know what I don't like? I don't like sideways ass. Interesting. I okay, I understand. That's what I I think. I think what it comes down to is that I just don't like sideways ass. I okay. If you're gonna have sideways, you also need vertical ass. Of if you're course. gonna have left and right ass, gonna have, ooh, <laughs> wait, yo, you Time have you, you know, <laughs> what? Because I've seen a lot of asses that they grow left to right, but but how okay. is it even possible Time, okay. to grow left to right and not? Okay, there's different kinds of asses, right? Like you you have the ones that just like they round out on the hips, right? They're fat on the edges, right? Yes. And then you have the ones that are just like kind of fat back, like yes. straight back, just kind of yes. bubbling. But then you have the ones that the, these to me are the caboose. Yeah, the caboose. And that's what I do not. I need fuck with. if I get both the wide and the long, you have a perfect caboose. This might sound a little weird, but I get nervous when I see a fat ass, and I'm like, I can't go after that girl because I don't think my dick could go. <laughs> like, I think it would get lost in the ass. Like, I don't think it could reach the vagina. I think it would be blocked by the asshole. Okay, I, I don't know. Maybe this is a perfect entrance to what happened to me. 
Oh, you got your dick got blocked by the asshole. It didn't get blocked by the asshole, but this this weekend was the first time I fucked a girl with a BBL. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> So it was oh, a different oh. type of kibbutz. Did you slap it? I slapped it. It you, honestly, okay, and, and that's what I asked. I asked her, I was like, yo, is this is this real? Oh, you knew it was fake. Of course. Of course. The girl That's probably gross as fuck, bro. No, no, no. Do you not judge? I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, judging. I'm judge. judgmental. I'm sorry. When it comes to <laughs> big asses, I can't do it. He hates the caboose. Well, the problem is, okay, do you feel like you don't like it? I like of- little butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, yeah, so, okay, to, to your point, do you not like the, does it intimidate you because of the dick thing? Or I do think, you not visually like I it? I don't think I visually like it either. But also okay. the dick thing is definitely an issue. It's I'm a like big deal. I'm like, bro, there's too much space. My <laughs> dick is not that large to get in the <laughs> vagina. Oh I feel like this shit is a barrier between me and yeah. the vagina. Well, I I feel like okay, my thing is I feel like the gine is 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 like tuckered in to the point where like there isn't as much fat there. Uh, it's still rough roads ahead. I watched um, the porn I watched yesterday. It was actually a funny fucking concept. It was, okay, it was a 10-minute video. The first four minutes, it was like, you know, stepmom or MILF fakes as sex doll. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, okay, so it's Very a- Very unique search. <laughs> I didn't search that. <laughs> That's it was on the hottest says. videos in America. Okay. Sure. So maybe somebody else saw it as well. All right. And I hope somebody did, but maybe not. So anyways, it's a bed and the girl, okay. The, the initial it's one shot and it's like a diagonal shot and it's a diagonal. It's like the girl's side of her ass, but essentially it's a sex doll that's bent over the bed yes. and it has a towel on the top part of it and it has a towel on the bottom part of it. So you could only see the ass. Oh God. Only the ass is showing. And it's like, you know what I mean? The corner of the yes. bed. So like when you're having sex with it, it's easy, right? Because like, you know, the ass is just there yes. and you know, yes. he's, you how do you say it. It? Right. Like the, the, his, her thighs are kind of like flat. Yes. Right? Yes. So anyways, halfway through, it's like, he goes in like, I don't know. has to go take a piss or something. I, I skipped that part. And then she comes in and like, you know, puts herself in, inside where the doll was sitting and gets rid of the doll and puts the towel over her. Oh, oh, so oh, oh, he a feels little like switcheroo. Right. Some Houdini shit. Yes. And then he's thinking in his head, he's fucking the doll when he comes back. But uh, really, it's his stepmom. Yes. The vaginas <laughs> feel similar. Vaginas feel similar. And, right. Do you know how she gets caught? Right. Because at she, some point. She's like, ah. <laughs> And he's like, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, mom, what are you doing here? Yeah. Exactly. Don't tell your dad. I'm like, this is getting good. Yeah. <laughs> the cum, you the cum shot's the, coming soon. You, know, you already know what the plot is. And okay, I'm, I'm actually a person that, okay, so I was like, okay, I'm in a hurry, right? Yeah. Because like, I can't waste time. Yes. The problem is I already watched one other video. Yes, yes, yes. And I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm 15 minutes into this. I already told myself I wanted it to be five minutes or less. That's like me coming here today. What? what I was wait, like, what? I was like, yo, I only have a certain amount of time to jerk off. I can't be looking at all this shit. Time out. You went home after work just now. Yeah, I was feeling a little horny, off. bro. I was feeling a little horny. So, okay, you didn't you didn't hit your your girl wasn't there. No. So, oh wow. She wasn't there. Well, let me ask you a question. Are you going to see her today? Yeah. And you're you prepared for another one? Oh, easily. Tonight. See, I can't do that. I got one nut a day. That's it. I don't have time for But that. that's because your loads. Like my loads <laughs> 10 of my loads Jesus equals one Christ. of yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. All right. Anyways, where was I? Okay. I, so, okay. My thing is, I don't, I don't know if you remember this, but my thing is, is like, I need to see the cum shot. I like to like jerk off to the finish. I, I, I like before I go before. But what was interesting is, is I watched this one and yeah, you did the whole thing. Oh, like, oh it's, it's finished my mom. without a cum shot. No. Well, okay. That's why I turned off the previous video. It, it, it happened, but okay, I'm very particular about my cum shots. Okay, how do you want them? <laughs> I, I like, okay, I like when they're ferocious. I don't like, okay. When he's okay, jacking time off out, so time heavily. Out, time out, time out. That's the other problem I have. Okay, I don't like when the guy does it by himself. That pisses me off. Well, that's a lot of porn. Exactly. So I need to find the porn that either- Cream pies. 
No, I don't like that either. So blow that's jobs. A, yes. I love a blow job ending. That's probably my favorite by far. And then the other thing would be uh, like the girl jerking him off to finish. Yeah. Or a big explosion and she's excited as well. Like sprayed everywhere. Right. Now I'm like, this is great. Okay, don't. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but uh, what was interesting is yesterday I actually didn't. I, I watched it. He finished what was annoying. I'm like, okay, so how do you think he finished if he's fucking this doll, right? Okay, and afterwards, <clears throat> at some point, she moans. He's like, oh, shit, who's this? It's a person. Yeah. And then he's like, it's my mom. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's like, fuck it. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. So he takes the towels off her, and now he's just fucking her in that position alone. I thought that he was going to either come in her or come on her. And, and what was annoying is the end of the video is just like, she laid down, and it's just like a, her, a shot of her titties, and he's just sitting there for like a half hour, jerking off, jerking off. And then he yeah, just comes on video. her. And then he just comes on her titties, and I'm like, that was so anticlimactic. Like, I wanted something crazy. Like, she's all oiled up and shit. I'm like. Why does she have oil? He Okay, that was the other thing, too. He lathered up the doll. With lube. With lube, yes. So it was very shiny. So that's really hot, too, by the way. I really like shiny that. Shiny girls. Shot, bro, shiny girls? Fire as fuck. I fuck with that. Do you like shiny? I mean, yeah, sometimes. Shiny or wet? Either yes. way. And I'm not talking about inside. I'm talking about on top. I do have a question, though. To go back to the big ass thing. Oh. Do you think that girls with big asses like to go only after guys with big dicks? I don't think they know. But do you? How think, do they know? But do you think, though, that like that's something they look for? Do you think they end up with guys with average size dicks? He, well, here was my the whole point, and, and let's tie this up, is my point is I don't think you need a massive dick for a big butt because she had a big ass, but the way that she was sitting, he was able to bang her. Because she was bent over. She was bent over, right. So you need to find the right spot to but hit it. But also, I don't like it. <laughs> like I'm like, what is this fucking thing in front of me right now? <laughs> It's too it's much. It's a caboose. It's too much. I, like, I love that. It's just too much. I love much. the juiciness. I'm like, I want to hold it with one. Like, I want to be able to hold one ass cheek in my whole hand. I, like, I like feeling like like being able to like just pick her up. I understand you know what, what I mean? Saying. I understand. I know exactly what you're saying. And honestly, okay, um, I don't want to tell exactly who this is, but somebody very close to me is a small individual yeah. woman and that's what she enjoys like she likes like big fucking dudes because she likes feeling like this giant ass dick is just destroying yeah, her life yeah, 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 you know yeah, what i mean yeah. so like i feel like girls are into that and obviously guys are too but that's the thing too for me i actually do, i i don't necessarily care about that like i'm down for either you want the, but i like the juiciness you want everything to fucking Overflow on you, bro. Yes. Just go all over me. Just be everywhere. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Just be everywhere. And that okay, that's what I experienced. This uh She had big boobs too. Yeah, they were fake. Oh, so fake body. Fake, right? She was built. This bitch was built Did like it a Lego. feel like um a uh, Barbie? So and that's the thing though. It's like, okay, I feel like she had some good work done. Oh. Because you could tell when, at least for me, I could tell by the feel. Like, I, I know when somebody, like, the other thing, too, is, like, I feel like she had already decent parts to begin with, and then she just kind of went for the overload. I kind of looked back oh, like, at her pictures oh. to, like, check before, like, what, what was it before and what is it now? To be honest, <clears throat> I probably would have preferred it not fake, mm. but I'm also not complaining. Is she from, like, like Miami or, no. like, those areas? Jersey. Oh, that's same, how you already know it's, it's messy. It's the same thing. Jersey, same, Miami, same. Scottsdale, fucking They're Orange County. Same. It's 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 a mess, you know, with the But no, you like bullshit. it. You like I, it. I'm not okay. The thing is though, it's like I think I like it for like a one or two time thing, but I'm not I don't I I I don't want to say never, but to be honest, I I don't think I'm gonna marry like a girl with a BBL, to be honest. I, I just I, I it's just not my thing. I'd rather okay. That's the other thing. Okay, that was actually the thing I'm in. You rather really her work about. for her ass, exactly. Well, that's exactly. The, that's the one thing about a BBL versus a boob job. You can't work for her big boobs, but you can yeah. work for big ass. That's why I'm a little bit more lenient on the on the boob job thing, and not even lenient. I don't care what you I do. feel like. Yeah, I will also say that I probably wouldn't care really that much if a girl got a 
Like I, I, I may date a girl with a boob, boob job, but maybe right. not. It depends. Not a BBL though. Definitely. Well, again, Definitely not. The, too big. You're right. You'd be like, and like again, much. also the the boob job, it would have to be like probably a smaller cup, like a C or like a D at most. You're saying the fake the fake boobs after yeah. you don't want a girl with just like fat fucking tits. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just annoying. But like, cause I understand a girl who has like really, really like A's and like yeah, yeah that probably is hard for them. A hundred percent. So they probably would like it's it's sad that guys don't have like a dick procedure. It, uh, no. I saw an advertisement on the porn website yesterday. Oh, and it was it was uh, yeah. it was an animation. Yeah, and it, it was a three second ad. It was a pill, and it was like some guy with like a four inch dick. It would triple. And then it was it. like one a day, and then it was like it showed like an animation of like ten inches. Oh, what's it called? I think I need to buy that. <laughs> I didn't click on it, Jay. I'll be honest. I didn't. I didn't tap on it because I figured that. Damn, it was you're bullshit. not even thinking about me. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, Jay needs this. Yeah. <laughs> What if I send that to you? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yo, you should hey, check this out. Yeah, I got I, you, bro. I hear it's legit. <laughs> Watching a cool video yesterday yeah, 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 popped yeah. up for me. Fuck. Well, okay, should I should I go into the thing that? Yeah, what I happened had, with this girl with, with the BBL? BBL. Oh. That's the name. Honestly, I had a, I had a good time. Um, and I feel like this is kind of um. I don't really know. I kind of felt weird actually leave, leaving. I, I, where do I start? Do From I start how do you like meet her? What was happening? Where'd you go? So I went to DJ's in New Jersey, mm. which is like the sus zone. Of, oh, it was the sus zone of New Jersey. Oh, oh, it's oh. pretty much just that's like, really sus. I feel like hundred percent that's high level sus for it's, New Jersey. It's just like throw a million frat kids into a fucking bar in new jersey on the beach and just like oh on and, the beach. Uh, and everybody i'm not even joking though it was 90 percent italian oh i so i guess i fit right in yeah 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 and it was nice because everybody's just short and like guidos and, and guidos and i'm like wow this is great like yeah. i feel like i'm like this is my people here. this is my right this is my thing like all the girls are just like voluptuous and then did you chant we're not white no <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. No. <laughs> I didn't, there was no chanting in there. There was honestly no space. It was really one of those like bars where like I'm not joking. It was just so disgustingly packed it wasn't even fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you're just like to get to the bar oh, yeah. was just a process. And it was just like, I don't know, it was sus. But anyways, this girl has been hitting me up uh, you know, for a little bit and I was like, Oh, I might be in New Jersey, whatever. So there came a point where just at the end of the night, I get a random DM from her fucking gay best friend. And he's like, hey, this is so-and-so's gay guardian angel. Oh. You know, someone's horny and wants to see you. Oh, oh, oh. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. You were like, it's pride. Yeah. I'm like, it's pride. You know, let me go see you. <laughs> let me go check this situation out. I'm like, I'm like four drinks in, five drinks in. I'm feeling good, but like, I'm not like blacked. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. feeling good though. So I go out there, I meet this woman, and I don't know. It all just kind of went downhill from there, and not in a bad way. It just was like, it, it, I just knew what was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I sat down. We're sitting at this table. It's like her and her three other friends and me. I I left my brother and my other friends at the bar. They're all calling me, asking me where I was. This girl's now sitting on my lap and just like, I don't know. They're just like, we're all just like talking and, and mingling, whatever. But now I knew, like, okay, I feel like I understand what time it is. We were like, all right, let's get out of here, whatever. I'm trying to make a long story pretty much short because me sitting there wasn't really necessarily that interesting, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. So we go to my car. Like, my brother, as soon as I walk up to there, my brother and my little cousins are just looking at me like, yo, what is, like what they, is going on? They saw those people. Yeah, they saw what was happening, and they are just like, this is, this, is a little, this is a little messy. So we get in the car. We go back um, to like my mom's house initially. This girl is just yelling in my house, like what just making yelling? a noise. She wasn't like, she's just a loud person. person. You know what I mean? Right. She's just like the volume, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. she didn't know how to like change it, whatever. But then at that point, that's where I started discovering like the BBL. Like, yo, her outfit was kind of like a little crazy too. She Why? was wearing a see through dress. Oh, so you saw her nipples? Yeah. 
Like her nipples were shown. To be honest, no, because she had, she had like a, I don't even want to call it a bathing suit. She had on a thong. Both things were were string were string oh, tight, and, the, and it just covered it the just nipple. Covered the it nipple just covered and, the nipple. And I'm not joking you. The thong, bro. Was, I can picture this girl a hundred yeah. million percent. And she just has like a see through dress with all this on. She's just like, yeah, no guys come and talk to me because they're just too intimidated by me. Like with what I'm oh, wearing, I'm, I'm sure like, that's yeah, it. that's. I mean, yeah, I guess it's kind of a lot. You know, you're walking around and just. I guess it would be kind of tough. I don't really know. Or and there's also definitely guys out there that are like you were like, I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I don't know about that girl. I got a yeah, I was I was just getting like, you know I mean, you know, I, I'm not gonna judge her. She's free, yo, the double team podcast opened my eyes. She's free with her body. Yeah. Right? She's That's just living there's, her best life, showing off what she's well, got. I was gonna say what God gave her, but no. what, what her her, her doctor gave her gave her. Yeah. <laughs> her doctor provided yes, her. Yes. You know, she's not okay. She doesn't say she's a very pretty girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? But right. Very voluptuous to say the least. Like there definitely was a lot going on. I definitely um I, I actually I, I I didn't feel really intimidated at all, but I could see why another guy would feel that way. Do you you know what's weird though? Do you think that girls who have like boob jobs are more likely to flash their boobs? A hundred and ten percent. Every I've almost like seventy percent of the girls that with boob jobs are super down to show them. That's what I've noticed. Because because at the end of the day, they're just like, I bought these. What? It, why is it? It's not sacred anymore. Is not it? like not like natural boobs are necessarily that sacred either. To be honest, like titties to me are pretty casual. But but okay yes but it also though you don't see girls just flashing boobs no but it's like weird I've seen a lot of people's boobs of course you've seen a lot of people's boobs bro <laughs> it's not it's not that crazy of a statement that's my point but, is that but I at feel the like... same time it's not like you see every girl's boobs no but I can envision what they look like of course yeah I guess that's true it doesn't, it doesn't but count. but my thing is that. I, it's weird because the girls' boobs that I've just seen from flashing, mm -hmm. most of them have fake boobs. Right. Because I think that's what we're saying is, like, at that point, you know, you bought them. You're pretty free with your body. I would say, like, I don't know. Is it? I was going to say, is it confidence at that point because you know it's good? Like, like let, question, do guys with big dicks, or are they whipping their dicks out all the time? I think dicks... Are more sacred to be honest. Yeah, I think that um, actually, guys with little dicks will wait. Will them out no, lot. they don't. No, they don't. At least the comics no, I listen don't. to, he has a small dick. He's always going. He gets naked at almost every uh, comedy show he does to show people. He like makes sure people know. It's like he's not lying. Yeah, like he wants people to know. <laughs> he wants people to know he has a small <laughs> dick. My thing is with boobs. Okay, think about it. I feel like boobs are really not that bad. It's really more giant that is more hidden. Of course. Right? Because you can't do... It's the giant and the dick. Right. That's what I'm saying. Those two things are private. Well, it's it boobs should be... Like, whatever. Honestly, boobs should be free. I agree. Because... I, 100%. Girls should be walking around with their titties out. It's 2022. I don't know, though, because that shit will be very sexualized. Maybe it will desexualize it, though. I think that that's the point, is that, like, in a lot of European countries, I'm sure boobs aren't sexualized because people see them all the time in these beaches. You're right, but if I... You're right. If I saw a nice pair of titties out there, I'd get horny. But if you're always seeing a nice pair of titties... I feel like I do that, and I'd still get horny. That's also true. <laughs> like, this is we're talking about the Instagram shit. You know what I mean? It's just bombarding. Like, yo, okay, back to even that too. It's like, bro, ah, I literally, I, I'm not joking. I, I've told myself numerous times the last like two weeks. I'm like, get off the app. I'm like, turn it off. Stop. Too many me. girls. No, seriously. It, I, I, it's, it's, yo. I literally thought to myself, I'm like, yo, I need to find a way to like get this off. Instagram is, t uh, Instagram has gone crazy with it. Well, that's back in the day when I feel like I was like masturbating a lot. I stopped Instagram for like three months, two months. Because it's just too much. Yeah, because there's too much on there. It's and so easy to also, turn on the app and just get horny. Also, what I did is I completely like deleted all the cash from my Instagram so that it reached our like. I, oh, oh, I thought you meant like cash, like money. No, 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 no. Just so Very that. Very specific. Just so that it wouldn't like. 
it, it restarted for me. Got you. And now it's all like sports. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe you maybe should I try need to reset that. because the explore page is fucking disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's what you happened. You know what I'm saying? But also oh another reason God. I was like, yo, this is a bad look. If somebody opens my Instagrams and like I try to search something for somebody, then they see all this. Like this was when I was dating my ex, so it was just it would have been awkward if she just saw like a whole bunch of fucking girls. And what's hard for me too is like, bro. I, I'm like following I'm mutuals like they follow me I follow them with a ton of OnlyFans chicks uh, so like my whole shit is literally just like girls that are trying to sell their shit yeah, you know yeah, what I mean yeah, 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 yeah. their ass and titties are everywhere that's what I'm saying yo if you went on my Instagram right now within the first five pictures there will be some sort of ass and titties easy no question damn it's not good but let's go back to what happened um, BBL the, the, to the BBL so we get back to my house and I find out that they're staying at the Quality Suites. Oh. Now, I don't if know you could tell is. by the name. It, it's very good. It's quality. If you're naming it Quality Suites. I feel like that's high level. I very knew, expensive. I knew it was a problem. This shit is very top notch. Right. I was like thinking to myself like, man, you know, we're really going down that road tonight. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's BBL. It's Quality Suites. It's prostitution. It's. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, long story short, I, we fucking get to quality suites, and here's the awkward part: it's her, 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 her gay friend, and then another two people, and they're all staying in one room. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, wh where is the best place for this to go down? Right? Is it my my mom's house? I don't think so. My mom is there, and I also have my cousins there and my brother. So. There's people in both settings. Or you could be open about it and have a sex party. I'm not joking. It went down that road. Oh. So. Oh, oh. It oh. went down that road. Sort of. So we get in there. I lay on the bed with her. And then I don't really know. We're all just like talking. The, the gay guy is like now sitting on the ground, like at the edge of the bed. And the other couple's next to us. I'm not joking, two feet like next to us, and like right. we're it's like one bed. It's two two, beds. two queens. Okay, okay. It's two queens, but it's quality suites. There's not. Very it wasn't. Good. It wasn't quality amount of room. Oh oh oh. It was low quality room. Okay. High quality suite. Okay. And we're just having the conversation. Like I don't know. We're just like talking about life. This girl's telling me she's bipolar. The other kids telling oh me, "Oh my goodness!" Yeah, I don't know. They, they, they were nice. Kids. Like, don't get me wrong. I really like. They were nice. Like, they, I really actually had a good conversation with uh, the people there. They were all really like chill. But then it started like becoming like Jersey Shore vibes. Now it's like, it's like I'm, I'm making out with this girl. I don't know what was going on with the other kid and the girl. There was rumors that. He rumors? Was, how long, how there, big of a fucking room is? Yo, there's rumors going around there's rumors? in a room with five people. Because, uh, because oh, rumors. Uh, what okay, the fuck? This rumor. girl's telling me that that guy on the bed with the girl is bisexual, and he is potentially in cahoots with like the gay guy, the gay guy, but also the oh, girl. Oh, so three-way so like, type shit. I don't know what was happening there. So did the gay guy get on the bed? No, the oh. gay guy goes into the other like part of the, the suite and kind of dips out at this point because me and this girl are making out and I think I hear kissing next to me. I can't confirm. Was to it be honest, dark? Yeah, I was like, can we turn the light off? Because we were kissing and they were kissing, I think. And I was like, can we just turn the light off? And, and like, so we did. So you turn the light off, and then it just started going from there. We we're under this, like, little tiny sheet. We're right fucking next to them. Was she making noise? Yeah. We, well, that's the thing. Is like, then it escalated. Then it was like, okay. I was like, you know, I was like, yo, do you want to do this? And she's like, yes. We take our fucking clothes. I was like, yo, I was like, I was like, take your clothes off. And so I take my clothes off. So now it's like dark. But it's fucking hella awkward because we start going, and I don't think that the other two people did. They're just kind of laying there now, like Making almost like out? being quiet. They, I think they finished that. Oh, he came quick. No, no, no. Oh. He, I don't think that he banged her. Oh, so they were just sitting there. So they were just laying they there. They didn't move. 
when, be, <laughs> when you got out of the covers, what did you see? Are you talking about after? Yes. What did you see when okay, you got well, Okay, up? okay. Well, here's the thing. So we get into it, right? And then now I'm going. And it's fucking weird because I'm like, how loud can I be? Like, oh, I'm trying to like you say. You should have st- done it all. Go all the way. I kind of did. Like, I kind of was That's like in beast. my mind. I was in my mind. I was like. <laughs> this is a good podcast story. I don't story. give a fuck. <laughs> I'm like, at that point, like, do you care? Like, I don't know. It's hard, though. It's hard to fuck in front of, like, two people I've never fucking yeah. met before. It's literally just, like, they're literally listening to the sights and the sounds yeah, of yeah, me yeah. fucking their friend right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, So, like, we're just, we're banging. I feel like, like, I don't know. It was pretty bomb, like, I guess. I, I don't, I don't really, like, kind of remember everything. The only thing I kind of remember is the finish. So, the end of it is... We, you know how I do the rotisserie thing. I started forward. We're on the side. Then we get to the back. At this point, it's like four in the morning. I think they're like, they're not sleeping just yet. You Are you realistically sleeping if somebody started banging right next to you within two minutes? Or are you listening to that? I was trying to put myself into their minds. And I was like, what are they thinking? I think I would try to sleep. Would you try to sleep through it? I would try to sleep first. I'd try to sleep as fast as possible. <laughs> if that shit starts happening, I'm not gonna I'm especially if I'm tired, I'm not gonna stay up to fucking all night here and some people fuck. If that shit was happening and I was up, I'd be like, yo, motherfuckers, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> no. Stop. Imagine he fuck yo. quietly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not joking. I was trying to be as quiet as I can. Like, the dirty talk, I remember I'm literally in this girl's ear just whispering at the lowest decibel that I could. What, what was it? What was it? No. 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 I love I'm this not... BBL. <laughs> <laughs> you like that BBL? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, we get to the point where I'm like, all right, this is great. I, it was, it, But that's what I'm saying. The BBL got me. The, the BBL got me. Because as soon as they flipped her over, you know, in my favorite position, yes, she's flat. What? And the, the BBL. BBL. <laughs> this is my point. I'm like, this is too much. It's, 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 it's a blockage. Right. I'm smashing this thing. <laughs> You're like, my dick's not big enough. Uh, <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and then I'm fucking freaking out because I'm like, A, I'm like, fuck, I'm stupid. Number one, again, you know me. I'm fucking not using a condom. Like, I... It's not like we really Did even you come tried. in her. I was so fucking close. I that's okay. So I I I just okay. I I I hit this point where I this is the only thing I kind of remember. I like we're going slow at this point, and I'm like, fuck, it's gonna happen regardless. Oh, oh, oh. You know those where you're just like you're still like you, we've slowed the pace down, but there's no it's coming out. I feel it coming out, and the problem is she's, like, grabbing me, too, so I'm like, fuck, she's doing a good job. (laughs) She's, like, not letting me leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, she wants it to go down, and now I'm asking her, like, yo. Do you have birth control? No. (laughs) Are you on birth control? No. Honestly, I I don't know if the question was asked. I really don't. But I knew I had to pull out. Yes. So I just, I just remember just getting it out and just, like, Getting it all over her. It's pitch black. So oh, like oh, oh, so it's a mess. It's a mess. And the cover is off her at this point. Oh, you guys are completely naked. It's we're we're just out there at this point. So everybody think can about see. it. It's well, yes. Hypothetically, if they were looking, they yes, could have watched yes. the entire thing happen. I I didn't, were you looking over? No. The, I was ahead was blinders straight, were on. I was yes. like, I don't I I'm focused. Like, you know imagine I mean? you take a peek and they're just sitting up looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what, would you stop? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, it is what it is at that point. And, and okay, so, I, like, I finish, and, like, I don't know what was getting into me. I was like, I'm going to kiss her back. You're going to kiss her back? Yeah. Oh, like her like, her actual back. Her actual back. Yes. With the come on it. You you have a I, fetish, bro. I kiss her back, and I'm not kidding you. A whole glob 
You, just you love all it. over my this mouth. Time, <laughs> this time you can't blame the girl. No. You can't blame the girl. I'm not joking. I couldn't see. And I literally just remember, like, it was just, like, heavy. Uh, I was just, like, uh, right my mouth. Uh, and it's just not coming out. It's stuck in my stash. Oh. <laughs> oh. And I, like, I, like, go to, like, come next to I'm like, it's in my mouth. I'm like, it's in my mouth. Like, <laughs> 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 I, was like, I think I just ate it. I was like, I, was like, I think I literally said to her, I was like, not again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, that's was, just so yo, funny. Bro. It's fucked. I was. You said not, not again. again. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, god <laughs> i don't know and then yeah after that i like put the covers on her i like, kind of like wipe it like into the covers yeah 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 so the quality suites don't go there because <laughs> <laughs> you might get his cum. you might right it was it was just everywhere and i just like kind of remember thinking to myself like fuck i like we, we ended up like talking for like a good like half hour after a half hour hour after that and we were just like kind of like talking about life and just like i don't know she's telling me that she like wants a she wants to quit her job and raise, you know, go to a farm or something. I don't really know. And at that point, I was like, okay, I, I got to fucking go home. So I just, Dude, that's like, I, I've been realizing that's a new trend, I think, for girls. Uh, go to a farm, start a life on a farm. Yeah, I've been seeing that yeah, a lot. I, I think I think the thing is, is because, like, social media is getting so popping, they have to, like, be like, oh, my, like, I'm too cool for that. Like, I actually am going to abandon everyone I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go to a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to raise a single chicken. Like, okay, you, you know you're not doing that. You have a BBL. So, so yeah, no. Who Have you ever seen a BBL farmer? <laughs> 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 yeah, Dave Ole. <laughs> <laughs> Got yo, the chickens but, but, out front. Yo, and my big old ass. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but wait. Um, what? Oh, so you got out of the coverage. Did you see if they were still there? Were they still I mean, there? They were still there. They were sleeping at that point. Oh, they we were, were like, asleep. We were like talking, and then I heard them snoring, and I was like, okay. Where did the, her, her gay friend go? He was like in like, the, there's like a little, because it was sweet. They had like a little other part of the room. And I, we feel it probably should have went in there. Yeah. Because it was just like, a, it was like kind of disconnected, but it was smaller and it was yeah, a couch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was just, I So don't he know. was just sleeping on the couch? Yeah. So I like snuck by him as I kind of just like left and I was like, all right, I got to go. And that was it. But I was like, oh, classic, just like Jersey Shore moment. But see, that's what I'm saying though. It's like, okay, you know, when we, we asked this question earlier about like uh how do you handle horniness but you don't like one night stands like after that moment it's not like i felt like 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 that's what that's what i'm saying like in the moment i was like okay i'm going for this but like afterwards i'm like i don't i don't want to do that you, you, like like I, I don't i don't i didn't care for it like it happened and like yeah it's cool but like it wasn't that great it's not like, like that's what i'm saying it's like would I have been better? I don't. My thing is, is a lot of people get FOMO for not fucking or like not having one night stands or like these one night things, and I'm like, you're not missing anything. Mm -hmm. It's not. You know what I mean? It's not that dope that I literally like got home at five and mm -hmm. like you know what I mean? Like had to drink some. Like I literally okay, I got on this flight back home and I literally said to myself, I'm like, dude, I'm not. I am not doing this like anymore. Like I am literally gonna try to strictly like go for girls or people that I actually want to spend my time with. Like my time is that valuable where I really feel like a one night stand. Like, yeah, I guess granted it's a story, but like to me, it's just, it's not pushing the needle for me anymore. That's not yeah. what fulfills me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that, that's not like, Oh, this is not what I want to be remembered for. You know what I mean? Well, I, yeah, I don't think that people are going to remember you for that. Like like BBL fucker. Maybe eating Quality cum sweets. though. Eating cum possibly. That that that's that. okay. <laughs> right. But if I, if I was eating my own cum with the right person, it would be <laughs> it would lot, be better. It would be a lot better. Yes. It would be a lot better. Yes. And, and that's the thing too. It's like that's what she said to me too. She's like, well, she's like, I normally don't do this, which I I, I was like, okay, that doesn't make sense. But she she was like, well, it doesn't matter because you like live over there. I live over here, so it's like. Mm -hmm. You know, it is what it is. So I guess it's the luxury of like being yeah. like long distance with some people. I think that though it's interesting that you, you don't want like those one night, night stands. And th there was something that was brought up with the, actually the double team podcast that me and them, I guess, disagreed on about, I guess, uh, the connection that um, 
like having connection with the person is kind of important to yeah. have like sex because I think it does make sex better and ha- like making sure that there's a, a foundational emotional connection before you just run into sex. I, yeah. they, they might not have agreed with that, but I, I personally, my experience, little experience, I feel like the best sex I've ever had is always with somebody that like I've been with for a while and like i'm in it really into yeah a hundred percent or at least i don't know there's just like like the problem is is just like i i knew what the vibe was like when it when it is just a sexual relationship i don't know to me it like almost loses its value like mm. like like i'm like this is cool but again yeah i don't think i could get into a situation like that flat out where like i don't view them at all as like somebody that like i could like date it seems it seems like I, I cuz like for me I would if I am attracted to somebody I'm mm-hmm. thinking about at least somewhat like dating them. Mm-hmm. And so I, I can like I feel like if, if it was a one night stand for me it would have to come from the the girl perspective. So it would like be she a one- would have to come to you and yeah. come on to you to make that happen. Yeah. Where you know in my case I kind I, I or no no honest, I'm saying like I'm saying is. not not like that. I'm saying she would have to decide that it was a one night stand. I feel like. Oh, I get what you're saying. Right. Because like she I would never talk. Like she has to wake up in the in the morning and say, "I'm not doing that again." Yeah, 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 yeah. But you would probably want to do it again at some point. Yeah, unless I mean, it was it terrible. I mean, that's unless what I was it was say. unless uh, you've but, had that. Yes, but I I think that the different situation was like I wasn't going into it thinking it was a one night stand. I think I left it thinking it because of the fact that I the sex wasn't like. I didn't feel amazing. That. I didn't feel that physical connection mm-hmm. like I had with the emotional connection. I think I need both. Yeah. And if if one isn't there, then obviously it's not going to work. Yeah. With this girl, it, was, <clears throat> it more felt like okay. I think we both just understood. We knew it was going to be fun, and that was just the vibe. And also, like, you guys were just fucking just having not, fun. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, not my, not my cup of tea in terms of like the long term. Yeah, yeah. You know I what mean, I mean? What was cool about her? Like, what was one cool fact about her that she is cool about? Like, how, how, what, what did you enjoy out of the conversation that you had with her? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, <huh>? no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the problem is, is like the conversation was definitely just like, we're gonna you know, fuck. No. Oh. It was just more just like. Uh, how would you say it? just like because it's the first time I've ever meeting this girl in my life oh it's so it like kind learning of about them it's very surface yeah more just like where are you from mm, you don't even know where she's I from don't even think, I don't even think we went to that depth what depth is that <laughs> what what that, that's not, that's, what, what I don't think we, it was more <laughs> just like where are you from <laughs> Uh, it was more honest, like, oh, the weather's out oh, good tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, facts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> like, I mean, she was definitely telling me about some like stuff. Like, I guess I, I, I honestly, <laughs> I don't really remember much of the conversation because I already know that the conversation was probably majority just like drunken bullshit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. From both sides. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. It was just like two people that were like kind of sussed out, like fucked up, and we were just like. I don't know. Having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, who fucking knows? Um, yeah. I, I don't even know. So, that's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, like, you do that. That's what I'm saying. And then, like, the next day, I'm like, okay, the only thing that that can do is realistically long-term is, like... Do it again. No. Like, not even that. I'm talking about, like, what, what, like what, what is the value for me? I guess it's short-term. It's just, like, yeah. short-term pleasure. I guess short-term, that's cool. Short-term, yeah. Short-term come. That's it. And yeah. then as I'm saying, my thing it's like, is... It's like, it's a replacement to you jerking off. That's exactly what it feels like. That's it. But it just... Yeah, you're right. That's what I'm saying. Like I, Sometimes I like make myself feel bad about it. Yeah. But I shouldn't. No. You know what I mean? It's just like, it is what it is. What, where are we at? About an hour. Let's go lightning round. All right, let's do it. I like it. Yeah, honestly, we need some time in there. Because yeah, there's yeah, some good yeah, questions. Yeah. <clears throat> and if we have extra time, we could fucking add that last one. I like it. Okay, sounds good. Uh, do you want to start with the written question, or do you want to go right to the tell these? Yeah, let's go written first. <clears throat> okay, let's do that. 
So we had a write-in question, and it was, how do you ask a woman if she's clean without coming across like she's a hoe? And I can tell you who that was from in a minute. I think that the biggest thing with that, I think that you make it more of a personal thing rather than make it about her. So you talk I about, I guess, your own like test results and make it known that it's kind of important to you and then like kind of bring it up that way. So that way she doesn't feel like you're questioning her. It's more like this is normal practice for you with any sexual partner that you deal with. 100%. So, and to my story, that was in the meet just now. I That was made me a little nervous, right? Because I went raw dog. Yeah. And, you know, and afterwards, afterwards, I'm thinking to myself, like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. didn't ask anything, you know what I mean, besides, like, if she just wanted to, but I then asked after, after I had finished, I I rolled over and I said to her, I was like, like, you know, like, oh, so like, just to like, you know, make sure like, you know, you don't really, like, really have anything, do you? That's how you said it? That's exactly how I said it. Just to make sure you don't really have... I, here's the thing. Okay, anybody, anybody who's having sex with somebody with something is a disturbing human being. That okay, that's the thing though. It's like, okay, my thing is, is even if you fucking ask, more than likely, if they have anything, A, they, they're probably not gonna tell you. They don't wanna own who's gonna take responsibility for that? Who's who at the time of a sexual experience after the fact, of course not. Oh, time out. But let's see even before. The way if I had something, which yeah. I've had chlamydia twice, right? Yeah. I am not going to go into that activity or I'm not even going to get to that point yes, with you. Yes, 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 yes. If I had something like that, I wouldn't even put myself in that position. In the position. To, to, to force say. You to, you're right, to, to have that ask. Yeah. Right? So, like, I, I'm thinking to myself, even if I ask the person that they did, because I asked her last night, I'm like, why do I even ask? Because the reality is they're never going to say yes. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah, never yeah. going to turn around. And, oh, yeah, I do, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be like, okay, what the fuck was yeah, that? Actually, you know I have I mean? HIV. Right? Like <laughs> that, that they're not gonna people are gonna lie to you anyway. Yeah. So my thing is I'm like, I I like you're taking a risk. If you sleep with somebody without a condom, you're just assuming the risk. Because yeah. uh, the other thing too is a lot of people don't get themselves checked very often. No. You know what I mean? So and that's the thing. Okay, by the way, let's get checked. 30% off. Use my there link in go. the bio, Nappy30. Uh, go to my Instagram, click on my link, and, and get use checked. It. Get checked. It's an at-home SED test. That's pretty solid. No, thirty percent off is ridiculous in yes. my opinion. Like I don't know how I got that. <laughs> to be honest, um, but anyways, like I knew even when I asked her, I'm like dumb question because she's not gonna say yes. Yeah, I've already asked her, and this was the the, the kicker too. Is like uh, to be honest, ask a girl if they sleep around. What mm. do you think the answer is gonna be? Depends on the girl. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We've had Every we had two girl. we had two really open girls on this podcast. Okay, they are literally one in a million. They're literally <laughs> one in a million. Because <laughs> any girl, if you ask them, "Hey, have you you know have you slept?" Oh no, I don't really do that. Like kind of thing. I've never, you know what I mean. Like <laughs> <laughs> I've never had sex. Yeah, literally, they make it sound like they've what had sex with like one dick? person. I've yeah. never heard of that. Yeah, literally, they, they get fucking confused. <laughs> like you ask them like like a fucking hard ass math question. Yeah, like but that's what I'm trying to say is like, but I always say even guys too. Like I, I think maybe it's just more acceptable for guys to be like, I don't know, they, like sleep. I around. think it's actually worse because I think for guys, if you actually have a low number, it's it's probably weird to say. Yeah, I think um. I don't know. I think a guy with a low number would then, yes, he would go for like an average number or like, I think a guy with like a low number would probably usually say like, oh, like 10. You know what you I mean? Like you 12. would lie? I think if they're below the age of 25 or maybe a little embarrassed. Yeah. Yes. Oh, actually, they are because I even know kids that are virgins that lie that they have sex. Yes. Especially yeah. if you're a guy. It's the op You have to do the opposite because the key, the key about like, it's all about confidence at the end of the day. You could say that you're a virgin confidently, mm. and it's not good. I don't think. I mean, virgin uh, Virgin is definitely yeah. eye level. Virgin is that's, definitely that's sketch. A 
Virgin is sketch, I would say. Uh, anything <laughs> after... He's like, lie about... If you're a virgin, lie about that. Anything after two, I feel like you're good. I, I agree with that. It is all about confidence. At the end of the day, though, even if you are a virgin dude, which, like, I had this conversation with this kid. I was like, you know, first off, it's not that hard. And, and second off, you probably got to find a girl that, like, likes you for who you are. You know of what course. I mean? That's like, how not... you should be looking anyway. Exactly. What do you mean, a girl who likes you for who you are? My point is, is, like... A lot of these guys think that they just want to be with like some girl and just get it out, just get the nut, or, or just have oh, sex yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. And and I like to tell them like, yo, you need a, you want somebody that you could at least try to be somewhat consistent with. Yeah, you know what so I mean. So you could and, practice. And the only way to really do that is just like you have to mentally like get the girl to like you first, so that she's able to overlook that part of it. Bro, that's actually interesting because like back in the day, I was talking to um, not talking, but like I had a friend who's who's a girl and she was a virgin and she mm -hmm. finally had sex with a guy because she just wanted to get it out, mm -hmm. and it was only like a one night thing, and like it, I was like, damn, that sucks. Like I can't imagine losing my virginity with the one night thing because I feel like being able to lose my virginity to a person that I had consistent sex with for a while, it just at least gave me like some skills. hundred percent. I know? mean, that's, that's most optimal. I tell them, I'm like, bro, it's like, you know, anything in life, right? We it was going to yeah. like the riding the bike theory. Like, bro, you yeah. got to get on there. You got to start pedaling Practice. because you know, right. You're never going to be good. But that's what happens too, is a lot of these people that are virgins and they get older. Cause I've dealt with a lot of them. Mm. I've coached a lot of people that are virgins that are like over the age of 25 and you just hit that panic button yeah. because you don't know what to do because you're like, do I tell people? Do I not tell people? Do I fucking just sleep with whoever yeah. wants to fuck me? Or do I try to like make that? I'm like, the best bet is trying to make that relationship. But honestly, if sex comes up, just fucking take it. Yeah. Now, honestly, as I tell him, like, just, just fucking do it. Even if you suck. And that's what I tell him, too. It's like, don't be afraid of being trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. fucking get it out. Because at that point, Especially it's like. Especially if you're a girl. Right. I you, think it's you, both. What? But I mean, no, I was going to say, too. I was going to say for a girl, because I don't think you could really be trash. They eat. I agree with you. When saying. in doubt, just lay there. When it, right, <laughs> just enjoy the moment. Yeah, you know, I feel like, bro. First off, there's a lot of dudes out. I think it's way easier for a girl virgin, to be honest. Oh, of course. An older girl virgin, easy. Of course. Because like, bro, there's some guys. Their fantasies are literally to fuck a virgin. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like literally like, I don't know. If some girl was like told me she's a virgin and she was just like super nice and super dope and we got along. I'd probably do. I want to meet the girls that are into virgins. I feel like I'd be into Ooh, them. I like that. Yeah, like who's the girl that's like, like, yeah, I want to take this motherfucker's virginity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's badass. That's fucking dope as like, shit. If all she has sex with is virgins. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wait, one last point before we go to the next question. Like, with the people getting clean thing, my thing is again, if like if I'm gonna make the choice to to bang raw, I also just know, okay, I gotta get checked frequently. And I, I, I'm not going to believe what people are going to say anyways because, A, people might not even know they have something and they're just flat out they're going to lie. Yeah. Who? I'm just honest. Who is going to tell you the truth? I think the best thing is to make a, a date to the testing facility. Right. You know. First date every single first time. Date. That's the normal thing to do. Oh, wh why? Um, just meet me at the uh, Maricopa Health Clinic. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, let's just, let's have, let's have a picnic there. It's a cool thing we do. Uh, uh, yeah. Test. Just piss in this little bottle yeah. for me. Yeah. It's just for fun, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. It's a little event we could do together. All right. Let's go to the, uh, the tellies. They were really good this week. Um, and this first one, are we allowed to say who they're from? Is Usually, that a thing? if they put their name. All right. Let's just play it. Hey, Nappy and Jay, huge hey. fan. What's up, Papi? I uh, love the podcast. Me too. All right, lightning <laughs> round question right here. I've been dating this girl, and she's always on her phone. And whenever I kind of just try to, like, sit next to her or just be close to her, she immediately hides her phone from me and, like, turns it off and sets it down. And it happens every time. And I'm not trying to look at her screen or anything. Like, I don't really care, but it seems a little sus to me because it's been happening for a while now, and I just think maybe she might be doing something shady, talking to some other guys, whatever it may be. What do you guys think about that? A couple things. Number one, good use of the word sus. It is sus. Mm. When you feel sus, it is sus. That's true. You know what I mean? That's how it goes. Two, he does sound like the type of guy that would get cheated on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm kidding. I'm joking. You're not. Though. I'm like half. You're half, not. Half. You're <laughs> not. You're not. <laughs> That sounds <laughs> fucked up. Yo, <laughs> fuck. Okay, that's not... Okay, listen. I'm being mean in that moment, but the reality is, like, if you're feeling that energy, I, I, I think that it is fucking sus. And first off, I just don't... Me, personally, I, I, I just don't tolerate or I don't fuck with. Like, if some girl was constantly on her phone around me, big no-no. Because I'm not like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and be on my phone all next to you. Because mm -hmm. you're right. If you're sitting there texting the whole fucking time and you're looking at your phone and we're hanging out, like, constantly... That to me is a, a giant red flag to begin with, but then add on top of it that the fact that she's fucking flipping it over and doing that shit, bro. She's 100% being sus. I think that I think there's a couple things. So I think that depends on like also how long they've been dating and whether the behavior has changed. I think the the best indicator of somebody's mm. cheating is is a change in behavior. Yeah. Um like I don't know, it's not it might not even be cheating though, but but yeah, yeah, emotionally cheating or texting cheating yes, too. Exactly, because for example, with um, my ex, we weren't together at this time. But like, the reason I knew that there was some some other guy is because of like the changes in her behavior with the phone. For yep. example, she was like being more, I guess, guarded with her phone than ever in our whole relationship. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that's weird. I yep. like I knew that there was something weird. So I think when it comes to a lot of this shit, like your emotional like gut is usually correct. Like, yep. especially if you've never been cheated on before and you're feeling something weird here. I think that 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 even is a bigger indicator that it is weird because if you've never been cheated on before, you don't have that automatic sense of insecurity or the the scared. Oh, is she cheating or if she not? You know what I mean? It's just like, is and therefore you feeling something means that there's something probably going on. Yeah, because uh, you made a really good point too, where it's like you just said like. I don't, I, I trust her. Right. Yeah. Like he, like, he's like, Oh, you know, I don't care. I, yeah. I've never felt weird, but like he feels that energy yeah. from her. Right. Yeah. Like he's sensing it. It's like, it's not because normally like, yeah, you probably sit down next to somebody and they're just like normal about it. Mm -hmm. But like when people are doing shady shit, they do act like that. They do act a little guilty. Right. Yes. Like they do act like, Oh shit. Like, Oh, you're right. Even the subtleties and, and yes. your, your body is made to like react and, and notice those little things. Yes. Exactly. And that's why it's, it's alarming to you. So I think that, yeah, there's definitely, I don't know how you would go about finding out or yeah because it, that's it, the hard part is the, like bro hiders hiders the, man the problem is even when you call her out she she probably will deny it too exactly so it's like you're it's just a fuck situation and so that's okay so let me be open about something too it's like th that is definitely one thing to me that is the number one biggest red flag to me and something that i will never ever turn my eye to ever again because it's the one thing that you need to look out for in like a relationship is and, and to me again the big thing is the hiding yeah if somebody is willing to fucking bury that motherfucking truth and you could just feel that like yeah. i don't know what it is you're just like you know something's up you yeah. know there's some sort of lie and they just keep going and they just don't let you in like i that to me is the biggest fucking no you just know when people are being real and honest right yeah. like like there are just some people that are just upfront about their life they're just like here i am here's what i'm about I'm not going to bullshit you. Maybe like here and there, I'll give you a, like a normal human lie. Yeah. But there's fucking people in life that you know that they're just like so badly trying to protect their reputation with you or so badly trying to hide stuff from you that they literally will go above and beyond to lie. If I feel that or I see that or I catch you in that, donezo. And that was one thing for me, I think with even like Miami, right? Like, you know, I really do think that she, here's what's crazy about uh, Miami is I don't think that she would ever lie to me and cheat on me, but I think that she would lie to me because she likes me so fucking much yeah. to try to make sure that she looks as like as good as possible yeah. when it comes to me and her relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? It's like, well, I understand that um, to me, it's like, okay, you're not a bad person, yeah. right? Because deep down you're not, but also you do have an issue with being upfront and being honest. honest yeah. And that to me is a huge deal breaker. A yeah. huge deal breaker. I, yeah. I think that that, 
Because I think that the the people that are truly honest are those that, that tell the truth when it's the worst case for them to tell the truth. And so, like, in that situation, it would be, like, ruining a relationship for her maybe to disclose all the information. And she yeah. she thought it's better to lie in that situation. Yeah. Which, yeah. And and that's the thing, too. It's like, again, you're, you're watching this behavior. To me, that's what I'm saying, hiding behavior. If you, like, you're being shady like that, like, that's what I'm saying, like, I think there's a difference when, like, ugh, this is going to sound fucking terrible. Like, when I was, like, talking to other women, you know, when I was when I was talking to this girl, I don't hide it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It sounds weird, but, like, I don't change my behavior. I don't try to go out of my way to hide my phone, yeah. delete things. Like, yeah. that to me, if you're deleting shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that to me, like, bro, I like. I hope I find you, and I hope I figure that shit out. Because if I find that shit, you are fucked when it comes to me. <laughs> I will never trust your ass ever again. Because yeah. if you're willing to do the action to hide, yeah, that to me is the biggest fucking yeah. red flag, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, do you want to go to the last one? Yeah. All right. So this last one is really good too. All right, here we go. Hey, Nappy and Jay, I love you guys' show. Yeah. So my question to you is, what are your thoughts on a guy that has to jerk off before he can come Jay? during sex or after sex, yeah, I guess bro. you could say. So he makes sure he makes sure that I'm done or that I come. Mm -hmm. And then when he's getting ready to come, he jerks off <laughs> and then he'll come. Otherwise... We can be fucking all night, and that guy does not come. Yeah. Very Damn. weird. First time yeah, I think that I've right. ever come across a man that has to jerk off in order for him to come. So, yeah. What are your thoughts about that? Very weird to me. I actually am finding it less and less. I guess the first time, first few times it was okay, but I'm like, every freaking time you have to jerk off? Like, that must not be normal. So Damn. thoughts on that really would appreciate it again. Love you guys. Thank you. I'll tell you exactly what it is. He's addicted to masturbation. That's what it is. He, 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 he is so used to coming through his hand that he cannot come through the vagina. That's fucking incredible because like I'm the opposite. Yeah, no, but it, that, that, that's a, that's actually very common nowadays, actually, for, for males, like, who are addicted to masturbation not to be able to come through any other means. Um, I know that you are a frequent jerker offer to comer. Yeah, but I, I can, I can uh, are you saying? You do both. Well, I, I don't, like, if I'm having sex with a girl, I don't jack off to come, like, that would be very rare. Ever? Oh, I thought yeah. you did. No, no, it would be. It, it, it's not like it never happens. I would say at most, like, give me a ratio. Maybe once in a month, but I come a lot. So once okay. in a month is like, so like one out of thirty comes. Yeah, probably more. It's realistically more like one out of forty. One out of forty comes. Yeah, gotcha. But it, if if well, so, wait, time out. How how are the other ways? Are you finishing inside normally? Yeah, or in the mouth. Like okay. she's doing it. Okay. Most of the time it's her doing it. Yes. Regardless, that's what I would prefer anyways, Regardless too. of any situation. Well, so that's what I was going to ask. So the first thing I would say is, like, does he allow you to jerk him off? To come? Yeah. Because that, to me, could be pretty hot, and, like, that would yeah, be pretty Yeah, maybe dope. she sucks at it, though. Oh, my God. Your theory? <laughs> I feel like your theory always is, like, if somebody's not coming from a blowjob or a hand job, that it sucks. I feel like it's the truth. I don't know about that. A hand job, it uh, for a hand job because there is no difference between jerking off yourself and jer a girl jerking you Dude, off. Dude, huge difference. And the, the difference, the difference is whether she sucks or not. Because you can jack yourself off and be good at it. Yeah, a, a lot of girls suck at hand jobs. You're right. You're right. No doubt about that. Yeah, like weird, like amount of strength or something. It's or also like, just like stamina. Yes. And also, just right, right, that nice, like, motion that we like. Yes. It's true. But also, I'm sure that a lot of guys suck dick at fingering. Oh, 100%. Probably almost every Probably dude. me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get better. Honestly, that's one part of my game that I really have been trying to work on the a lot more. Game? Yes, yes. I've been really trying to, like, 
what I do now is I I'm very like vocal and communicate like I communicate a you, lot like yo where do you like yes, it where do you like my finger put yes. it right where you need it and like t give Tell me feedback me on pace do. yes everything like that because a lot of the times girls aren't gonna say anything yeah. and I'm like yo it's so much easier because I most girls are very different with the fingering honestly yeah. that's yeah, what I yeah, really noticed hundred percent some girls like aggressive and other girls yes. like very like sensual and light like right chill and then honestly there's some girls that like really prefer me fucking around where we throw my finger all the way in and a lot i mean most of the girls like it just like mostly on the clip on the but like on the outside but again there's other girls that really like when i'm throwing my whole finger in there and fucking around up in there well i think that that's like pretty normal no right but uh, my point is is like I some, do the some double, don't i do the double bro i do my oh, you go to both thumb in oh the finger touching the clip i like that i'm not um and inside with the thumb i go like this Oh, 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 don't show me that. <laughs> don't show me that. But when it comes to the jerking off thing, like, I, that's, I would find that weird. I don't know. As, like, a dude, I, like, I, I don't I, like that. Again, though, I think that with him, again, it comes down to he he's probably masturbates a lot. He's probably masturbated for years, and he mm. probably, like, it, it's hard and difficult for him to come in any other way. That's so fucking weird that he can't come just like how do you how do you not how are you not able to fucking come just like being in the giant just being in this in the, in the fucking wet because I think that like the thing about coming through masturbation well tell me if I'm wrong mm. it, how fierce is he going with his masturbation to come if it's very very rigorous it might be difficult for him to pick mm. up that speed while he's fucking her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he might not be able to get to that like momentum, and it gets yep. tiring. Probably, hundred percent. He probably needs more time to do it. So I think that that's the that's a big issue. And it could also be a visual thing too. So like that's one thing, and and one of the reasons that I kind of wanted to stop jerking off to just like pictures and stuff like that is because what I find uh, yeah. happens to me is. When I'm actually having sex, I, I think less about the feeling on my dick. And I, it's almost like I have to visually put a picture in my head of the person I'm fucking. I'm like, wow, this is like yeah. so amazing. But again, I have to see what I'm fucking doing to, to get myself excited to, to get to that point. So maybe he has to like take a step back from you almost in a way and almost look at you. Well, I don't know. That's a little interesting. Too much? I, maybe that's true for him. I don't know. Maybe that is true. We're trying to come up with every theory we got. But Jack. yeah, no, I, I I'm not think, a scientist. Like something I I practice though is coming in like different ways so that I oh. don't because when I was like having those mean? masturbation problems, like that that's how I again that's one of the the indicators I knew that I had a problem is that I couldn't come inside her vagina. Oh, so this happened with her. Not not the girl I'm dating now, oh, that, oh. my ex. But right. that that okay. was that was like a, like literally years ago when I was yeah, having this when issue. When you first started? No, not when it first started. It was it was probably like four years in at that point. Oh shit! When, and that's when I started masturbating a lot. Yeah. Um. But but yeah. So anyways, like the one of the reasons I knew I had a problem is because I realized, oh, I can last forever in sex. I am not coming through sex. Yeah. And so since then, I've been... It's that same sensation of well, just like the Well, since then, I make sure that I like have a variety of, way, of ways I can come so I don't like become dependent on like a certain one. Singular. One singular. Okay, that's probably why I switched my, my, my jerking off thing too, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like I don't want to just become locked into one way of getting myself to come. Exactly. It's almost like, right, it's almost like as like a man, it's like... I don't know. You 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 can really just become like locked in onto one thing, and it's even like one type of porn. Exactly. One type of like it's anything. You know, right? Like, oh, I like girls that look exactly yes. like this. Yes. You know what I mean? It's like you do want to try to bring that variety to. But to that's why, like, it's it porn sometimes can be dangerous for for some guys because they go down a rabbit hole. It maybe like. At first, it's just mild BDSM, and then they get oh. into like rape, and then they get into like oh, well, like where is this going? Well, that I, I, <laughs> it shows the dangers of the porn is like how you can go down a rabbit hole, yeah. Because every time you need an extra fucking thing to get you off, it right, needs to be right. worse and worse to get you off. I understand what you're saying like a heightened sensation. Yes. Well, I mean, but yeah, I would say that the biggest thing again, I would say with him is probably masturbation, and I don't know. Um, He's not going to tell you that probably. Or so would you advise her to tell him, hey, stop jerking off? I mean, I don't really like telling somebody not to jerk off. So I, 
I would just say uh, if it's a problem for you that he's doing that, maybe also just ask him and see what he he has to say. Yeah, and honestly, okay, back to our point about variety. It happens to women too. My yes. so so Miami. Ah, I hate using names, but anyways, um, one of her issues was before me, she has never come without a vibrator. Yeah, same thing. It's the same exact thing, right? It's like if you're constantly getting to yourself to that point with one, with one way, thing. with one way, right? You feel like that is the only that way you can get way. to that point. He's got to break through that mental block. That's what I said. I, I think to me. I think it's also a physical. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's a feeling. For sure. I think, yeah, you probably, you're probably right. If he stopped, I guarantee if you told him to stop masturbating exactly. for a week, I guarantee he comes inside you. That's what I'm saying. It's like, yo, tell him to stop jerking off if that's what he's fucking doing. And honestly, tell him, yo, even if you don't um, come, don't jerk off to come. But also, I do have another question, though. Is he wearing a condom? Mm, good point. Because to me, to be honest, I mean, I've only worn a, worn a condom one time in my life, but I know for a fact that I could not come in a condom. It, it, it doesn't feel like, just because I'm so used to, I think it's just such a dim, diminished feeling for me. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know. I, I I don't remember if I came in the condoms or not. I think I did. You did? I don't remember. Really. Well, I just went soft in the condom. Yeah, yeah, that's my thing too. I go 100%. soft in condoms. Same. I don't know. I, I feel like condoms, you know. I I, I don't want to. I don't want to downplay them because they're real. Yeah, I mean, they're you good need for to you. Use them. Yeah, but not me. Just right. It's like I guess I'm gonna take the risk. But then one day I'm gonna pop up with fucking right, like something I really don't want, and then I'm gonna be like, well, I did it. I fucking should have used. Felt a good at least. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Um. I guess that's it. No yep. more questions. Yep. Um. You don't really want to do another thing, right? No. No. You're done. We're good. All right. Well, thanks for listening. Thank um, you. Subscribe, fucking rate, do all the things that make you happy. Um, we love you guys. Keep sending in your questions. We had a really great lighting round. So, yes. Um, love you and love miss you. you, right? Bye bye. Did we, did we say miss, miss you? Miss him. I miss you. Cash just texted me literally before this podcast. Oh. She said she missed me. Uh, oh. Let's ignore we that miss one. Miss you. Let's ignore that. <laughs>